गुड मॉर्निंग वंदे मातरम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑन लर्न टू बी क्वाइट लर्न टू बी क्वाइट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर दिस ग्रेट मॉर्निंग सो आई विल डिस्कस द थिंग्स आज एक्सप्लेन बाय द मदर एंड फ्यू लाइन्स लेटर विल कोट फ्रॉम सी ओर विन दिन क्वाइट इज so this is the initially we are going to have a look a brief look at uh, in, uh, the things that has been quoted by uh, the divine mother here the noise uh, made by all the words the noise most of the time we feel noise anywhere you go only the world we feel as a noisy anywhere we go any what whatever we feel wherever we stand whatever we do everything seems to be noisy soil because by nature we have been acquainted and accustomed to this noisy atmosphere the noisy noise made by all the words second all the ideas in your head is the is so defend defining so deepening mother course that it prevents you from hearing the truth when it wants to manifest very interesting very fine um, um, uh, idea it has been idealized by mother mother truth wants to manifest at every moment truth wants to manifest but because uh, manifest means it is act to manifest not manifested or manifested in condition and uh, truth wants to manifest at every time but the thing is that uh, this noise uh, made by words and the ideas uh, in your head is so deafening <coughs> Um, that uh, it prevents you from hearing the truth that well, it wants to manifest truth wants to manifest we must be able to hear it but actually we are defined by unnecessary noise unnecessary words unnecessary ideas these ideas words they confuse and of course it actually it spoils our hearing power we are so much confused we can't imagine this is and the moreover that happens the truth wants to um, manifest itself but we are not able to hear the truth and uh, second uh, in the next page mother wants to explain beautifully to learn to be quiet and silent not only the quiet uh, to be quiet but the silent to learn to be quiet and so silent when you have a problem to solve instead of turning your in your head all the possibilities all the consequences all the possible things one should or should not do so these these are the things uh, actually it is very much confusing but to learn to be quiet and silent that is the um, um, <clears throat> that is the idea that is the motive that is the object to learn to be quiet and silent when you have the you know, problems to solve you have your problems problems are there life is full of problems it is a problematic the world we are staying here and uh, you know life is full of problems and it needs to be solved these problems and when you have a problem to solve so what we have to do instead of uh, turning your head all the possibilities here and there we are exploring to some possibilities we are uh, doing the brain work mental work all the circumstances so consequences what is going to happen and the all the possible things one should or should not do so many ways we are confused instead of doing uh, that uh, on those things try to learn to be quiet and silent then that is their style lies the true solution to the problem if you remain quiet with an aspiration for good will then problems are there so the see i will try to put it again whenever uh, the problems are coming it has to be solved so then what really we do we uh, turn our head uh, with towards all possibilities all the consequences and possible things what should be done and who should be not should not be done really we are engaged with all these uh, mighty puzzles instead of doing that what we uh, must do uh, we must remain quiet uh, in aspiration for good will we must remain quiet for with the aspiration for good will if possible a need for good will if possible a need for good will the solution comes very quickly because you know uh, suppose i want to solve a problem in my um, it must be tried there is no doubt of it 
it will be solved by my level my idea my brain and uh, it has to be solved by with the divine is the thinking and is the own style then which is better just imagine i am very much limited my thought process my mind it runs very slow so if i will take the help of the divine with that i can go uh, like anything because uh, where the problem originates there is the solution and uh, i don't have the idea i have not reached that level but actually god divine knows uh, there lies the solution we can get very soon. quickly that solution can be obtained very quickly and as you are silent you are able to hear it how can you you, know, you have uh, surrendered the problem you have some uh, requested and you are awaiting the solution of the problem the pro solution is coming that voice is uh, coming but actually you are unable to hear it you are uh, your uh, ears are deafened so uh, how shall we be how shall you be able to hear it again when you are caught in a difficulty another another phase of life when you are caught in a difficulty try this method instead of becoming becoming agitated problems are coming with the problems that agitation is coming confusion is coming tension is coming don't get don't go to that extent to, into that side so try this method instead of becoming agitated turning over all the ideas activities seeking solution up worrying or fettering running here and there inside your head i don't mean externally inside the head for externally you probably have enough common sense not to do that but inside in your head remain silent remain quiet normally what we do problems come it is a regular process problems are there it will there it will come so what you do normally we run our head think here and there get confused try and try we break down we break our head and heart it is the normal sequence normally we are doing but instead of doing all these things you do one thing when you are caught in difficulty try this method so what is the method instead of becoming agitated turning all the ideas and activities seeking the solution trying of your own so and worrying fettering running here and there inside your head running here and there you don't get the solution like this then what you do you have to remain quiet everything is there inside go deep within try to surrender the try to be quiet try to be silent problem solution is coming try to remain quiet so that this answer will be hard don't deepen your sense organs like ear so remain quiet and according to your nature with order or peace with intensity or widening or with all this together imploring the light and the wait for the waited for the wait for it to come so remain silent wait for that answer will come and you must be in a position or to receive it to hear it that opening must be there that awareness vigilance must be there and you must do it and finally mother course in this way path would be considerably you know this um, you know, will consider be certain it is instead of long getting lengthened that the path that the problem will be solved and the path will be certain there is uh, no doubt no doubt of it there is uh, it is the true solution you know and then one step forward mother goes and uh, of course uh, explains uh, nicely uh, that is uh, sit down quietly sit down quietly problems are coming we are moving here and there both externally and internally we don't know the we are very much confused we don't know the solution where it really lies so simply we um, we run your, our body we run our mind we move here and there we keep disgusted we fetter around so these instead of doing doing all these things some other uh, tries to suggest in a very amicable manner but very smoothly with slow solution sit down quietly when you have a little time mother course when you have a little time whether it is an hour or a few minutes you tell yourself at last i have um, some time to concentrate you know with the power of concentration with the power of concentration years of work can be solved within few days even so that is a very that is the power of concentration it is a very helpful and reliable method you know everybody you have i think you have tried in your own uh, terms because 
you know, uh, Sri Aurobindo, the Lord, he was also praying that way. Well, concentration, the power of concentration, it has a big role to play. Then, um, what you have to do? At last, I have some time to concentrate, concentrate, to collect myself. To collect my, myself means it is uh, falling apart here and there. Uh, to um, relieve the uh, purpose of my life, to relieve the purpose of my life, life has its purpose. Birth, it has it as God, God is a mission. A soul has come with a mission, it has to be fulfilled. You have to carry out, you have to be very sincere in that uh, endeavor. Up, uh, after myself um, to the true and the eternal. So this must be uttered again and again because you have got the time. If something, that's what mother has got, when you have little time, whether one hour or a few minutes, whatever is there, you try to know where, what, what, for what purpose I am here. Why is my soul here? What is, what can be done? How can I carry out the will? I must think of the divine instead of gossiping um, 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 this and that. Instead of moving here and there, you try to concentrate and say, I will try, quote it again. At last I have some time to concentrate. First. Second, to collect myself. Third, to relieve the purpose of my life. To relieve the purpose of my life. Fourth, um, uh, and to offer myself to the eternal and the time, offer myself to the eternal time. That is the perfect purpose for myself. From my side, I have to do this much. That is what. If you take, uh, if you took care to do uh, this uh, each time, you are not harassed by outer circumstances. Outer circumstance will never have you, um, uh, you know, harass you. You will not get, get, never get troubled and the difficulties will disappear because uh, you have been possessed by, not by yourself, but by the divine and you have surrendered. That step, step by step procedure you know, you know the route, you know the goal. So, and moreover you are in the, you are in the process of uh, sadhana, you are pursuing, uh, moving forward. So, you know, these outer circumstances, it will never, never, never harass you. So, again, mother course, you would find out that uh, you are advancing very quickly. Um, you know, without burden, without tension, without thought, without imagination. Because uh, you are under the position of the divine and uh, he is guiding you, enlightening you and marching you forward. And on the path, instead of wasting your time in chattering, that's what already we have discussed a little bit. Instead of wasting your time in chattering, in doing useless things, normally we do. We don't know, we do. Why are you doing this, um, you know, uh, useless things? That is um, favorable. Every time I, I used to do it. Instead of um, uh, doing all these things, you think. Uh, instead of wasting time first one in chattering, that's what normally do, don't do. In uh, you, you, you doing the useless things, uh, reading things that lower your consciousness. You read, there is no doubt of it, you are reading, but uh, reading the things that are lowering the cancer, lowering your consciousness, don't do it. And uh, you um, chattering over, wasting your time in chattering, doing useless things and that actually really, really actually you are degrading, degrading your consciousness. It is better to be moderate, balanced, patient, quiet. So four things um, the mother really advises. Uh, you do, it is better, it is better to be number one is moderate, number two is balanced, number three is patient and number four is quiet. But never to lose opportunity, the opportunity comes, it is rare. And if you lose the opportunity, likely some wall is being constructed between you and the divine grace. So it will, even if it will carry you once, twice, thrice, but after a long time, long delay, it will try to get back. So that is to say, to utilize for the purpose of unoccupied movement before you. To purpose of unoccupied movement in before you. So that is that time opportunity must be properly utilized and regularly utilized. It is a progressive one. It is a never one stop, one stop program. So you have to continue. When you have nothing to do, you become restless, normally. When you have nothing to do, you become restless, run about, you meet friends, you take a, a walk to speak only of the best 
I am refer not referring to the things that obviously not to be done, things to be done, but unnecessarily we do because we don't know what really we have to do. We are unaware of the next step. So normally what we do, we become restless, restless, run about, meet friends, may take a talk and speak only the best. To speak only the best, that is the thing. Whatever is needed, you must do whatever needs to be done, whatever you must say, whatever needs to be said. You must uh, perform what, is, what uh, really needs to be performed. That's what you will do. Instead of uh, doing this, we go in a negative, in a um, opposite way. Instead of the, that, what really you have to do? Uh, sit down quietly before the sky. That is the great step you have to do. Sit down before the sky. Instead of doing all these um, things that is our lowering your consciousness. Uh, your, um, you Normally what you have to do? You sit down quietly before the sky, second, before the sea, under the trees, wherever is possible there, um, you know, all of, all, um, uh, instead of um, all of them, whatever is possible, um, you sit down um, quietly before the sky, and before the sea, or under the trees, which is suitable, which is possible for you. And uh, try to realize um, one of these things, uh, like, you know, um, uh, sky, uh, trees or uh, you know that uh, sea and imagine try to realize one of these things to understand to why you live that's what you must recall you must realize you must ask yourself why you live to learn how you must live to ponder about what you want to do and what should be done what is the best way of escaping from the ignorance and the falsehood and the pain so these things must be pondered. That's what the question to be put again and again. Under the sea, under the sky, under the tree, you sit and try to ask what is the purpose. Uh, learn to know this thing. Um, and try to ponder over what you want to do, number one. What should be done, number two. What is the best way of escaping from the ignorance and the pursuit and the pain in which you live. So that is the great thing, great chapter, you must be uh, well confined and you must know um, to do, how to do. And again we are uh, sitting and uh, of course uh, <coughs> trying to quote few lines, only few lines from Sri Aurobindo. Couple of uh, messages we will try to read and quiet him. Sri Aurobindo quotes, a quiet mind and quiet vital are the first conditions to success in sadhana. I don't know how far we have succeeded in life and uh, that is the different, uh, the different question. And of course sadhana is a uh, beyond imagination question for us. So far, so far this sadhana is concerned, Sri Aurobindo tries to explain again and again. A quiet mind and a quiet vital are the first conditions for the success in sadhana. For the success in ma sadhana, Quiet mind and quiet vital are the first conditions. Second, it needs a quiet mind to know the divine will. It needs a quiet mind to know the divine will. Mind must be quiet. Third, in the uh, it is um, often oftenest when the mind falls silent, there is the full descent of peace from above. The descent of peace from above, and uh, when the descent is there. So this uh, floor must be ready, the base must be ready. For that actually the mind uh, must fall silent. That silent mind is the only base which can keep, we can, which can actually have a base for the uh, descent of the peace from above. And uh, finally, Sri Aurobindo goes once, one more step forward with his normal way of uh, uh, analyzing the concept. Only the quiet mind and being can be, can the, only in the quiet mind and being, not only mind, quiet mind and the being, can the supramental truth build its a truth creation. That is a great thing, great thing. So, again and again, Sri Aurobindo course, quiet mind, quiet vital, quiet being, everything is must be quiet, remain silent as much as is possible. But instead of doing all these things, normally what we do, we try to run our mind, we try to run our vital, run our body here and there for, for no reason. But I, we feel all these are reasonable, but thing is that truly it is a loss. It is a, normally, it is, you know, um, we, we go in a negative way. The positivity is actually with you. See it quietly. See it silent. 
be quiet be silent try to know the truth you sit somewhere under the tree or under the sky or under the uh, you know in, um, sea and try to realize what is the purpose of my birth why i have come that's what everything must be realized cleave everything to the divine and the solution will come instead of them wasting our time and here are gossiping and running about thinking about uh, reading this and that so try to be concentrated and try to give yourself to the divine so that the true solution will come from the divine true solution is the divine because the where the problem has emerged there lies the solution so instead of uh, being agitated irritated and um, you know without um, uh, finding the solution state so better you try to solve to serve the divine and you keep quiet quiet and your base must be ready so that the descent of the higher truth and that will be possible um, to be a uh, best with that quiet mind quiet vital so be seated calmly seated quietly and uh, that is the best condition bande matra